Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? They're embedded in a rock or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? A couple of scans from the eye, but it looks like you got there first. Shame on me for taking the scenic route, huh? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Neutrality in a debate? I guess your side forfeits. Uh, how can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting rusty with your comebacks, Mateo. Playing it safe, eh? <laughs> I don't blame you. Getting mired in a debate with Mateo and Noel can be an all-day affair. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. He's on his way. Stolen many sacred relics recently? Very funny, Walter. You know Constellation's been keeping me busy. I know everyone's excited by the art, yesterday. but we need to be as objective I as possible and be aware of possible something. negative effects. If you must know, there's rumors of an 18th century English translation of the Bhagavad Gita that I was following up on. <laughs> well, best of luck. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. Anything I can learn from is a help. Stay safe, okay? Hello. Yes, of course. <laughs> you might find it absurd, but... Honestly, the Lodge. I have never been surrounded by such a remarkable group of people, present company included. It has been a very long time since I have been someplace that could possibly feel like... home. There are worlds beyond count out there, but that feeling is rare and precious. I have done so in the past, when necessary, but I am not the best pilot, and it seems prudent to apply my skills where they are most useful. Lately, that means aiding you, and that, I think, has worked out very well. Honestly, I... I cannot answer that. So many years have been driven by survival in intense circumstances. Leisure time has... has been in short supply. And I suppose I have conditioned myself to not think about it much. I do enjoy combat training, though I suppose that is hardly the answer you are looking for. You have given me something to consider. Thank you for that. I hope that was informative. Is that it then? Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you, too. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. 
a bigger one. This one has been in my list of possible artifact sites for a while, but the profile didn't quite match. Now that we've got more artifacts, the similarities are as clear as day. All right, let me transfer over the data, but I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. No, just need to follow your scanner to the real destination. Might be a boot journey, but that's the explorer's lot sometimes. You're looking for the eye of the storm. Whole thing is a whirlwind, but getting to the source? Need to wear your patience thick. Not wear spacesuits like sweaters.
those rings. Uh, are they moving? They seem to react to us. New Atlantis, but this, <laughs> this is much better. Craigs' bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. But we do not understand the connections. We need additional information. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time.
It's a strong theory. Couldn't find that planetary anomaly without the data from the artifact. We'll need one to find the other. You'd still need to cross-reference the artifacts we have with the data from the eye to pinpoint the source. Not all at once. You'll need to take the home voyage after you've found each one. Should hopefully have more potentials for you then. Don't think it's just Fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten... All seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have.